The primary culprit in this home improvement mystery turned out to be moisture. Moisture from a dryer vent compromised some of the insulation and a bit of the drywall, and that resulted in a mold issue that had to be corrected. In any home, the main source for too much moisture in our air can be our bathrooms. Steamy showers and running faucets can't help but generate humidity that can then be a challenge to remove. One improvement recommended for this home is an upgraded vent fan in this bathroom. Here to install that for us and talk about vent fan selection is Kevin Kalupa, a licensed electrician. And Kevin, welcome. Talk to us about selecting the right bathroom vent for this space. You want to make sure that you have a large enough vent fan for your room and also how much sound you want to make. Okay. In that regard, Kevin, I imagine there's a lot of different varieties. And you mentioned sound, and there's been, what, a great improvement in terms of vent fans in that, in that area. Yes, the older fans, they were around four zones. They were very loud. Now you can get them down to a half a zone, and they're very quiet, and you don't even know that they're running. And that's what the customer usually wants. So you, first thing you come in here, you're, you're going to do some measurements. Yes, I will get the square feet and I will select the appropriate size of fan. One of the big issues I know for this homeowner was moisture. Talk to us a little bit about vent fan and removing moisture from an area. You wanna get all the uh, hum humid air out of your house after your shower or bath as quickly as possible. The last thing we want is to force this humid air into our attic space. There are some fans today that have previously been installed that are just vented into the attic space and they're creating mold or mildew. Uh, just moving that moisture from one area in the house to another area, that's, that's not good, right? No. Here we have a roof cap already installed to uh, get it out of the house, out of the attic space. Talk to us a little bit about the different brands that are available in terms of uh, bathroom vent fans. Well, they do a lot of things now. They have uh, fans, fans with lights, night lights, heaters. Uh, Bluetooth speakers, you can get about anything, uh, even antibacterial. Amazing in terms of the improvements that they made here. I know for this particular homeowner, one of the things they were interested in was uh, putting a timer on their vent fan. Talk to us about that. Yes, another problem with bath fans is either they're not running long enough or they're running too long. If you run it too long, you're getting your heat or cooled air um, removed from the house when you don't want it to be. You want it to run a minimum of about an hour and usually people aren't in their bathrooms that long. So that's where that timer really comes into play. Absolutely. Talk to us about the installation here. What, as you come in here, what will you be doing, Kevin? I previously measured the square footage of this room, so in that you'll calculate that, the size of the fan and how much air you want to move. The next thing I would do is I'm gonna get in the attic and find a spot to where it misses all the ceiling rafters and uh, move the insulation out of the way so we're not losing any of that. How about selection here in the bathroom, positioning that? Uh, is there a better spot than, than others? Yes, you want to get it as close to your uh, humidity source as possible. So closer to your shower or your bathtub would be ideal, but not into it. And here you'll have a timer on the wall, uh, or you'll be installing that? Yes, we'll be installing a timer here, and uh, it has a smart sense technology in it as well where uh, it will sense an increase of humidity change and, uh, and it'll turn on by itself and run for a pre-selected amount of time. And cost-wise runs, uh, I know we were talking a little bit of the gamut, right? So give us that range. Yes, yeah, so you can buy a timer that costs somewhere in the range of $40 and get one up to about $80, $90. Okay, and that, that's good insight. So. And that's the same with the ceiling fans as well. You can get a very inexpensive ceiling fan for $40, that is uh, four zones. The one we're installing here today is about $80, and you can buy them all the way up to two, $300. Well, Kevin, I, I know the homeowners appreciated your insight and, and what you brought in terms of installing uh, the new vent fan here in this bathroom. And again, little changes can make big impacts in your home. And if you'd like more information about simple upgrades to improve the energy output in your house, visit our website at powerhousetv.com.